to be married to this man. Congregation, you may be seated. We want to extend our welcome to relatives and friends today who have gathered here to witness the marriage of Brandon Joseph Britt and Angeline Edna Kowijic. The scriptures is our guidebook for a happy, successful marriage. God put a stamp of approval on such a union. Marriage was instituted by God at man's creation, and it was he who took who performed the miracle and took the woman out of the sight of the man. Adam acknowledged the mir miracle and said, A man shall leave his father and mother and cleave unto his wife. The two shall no longer be two, but one flesh. What God has joined together, let no one separate. In the opening chapters of the New Testament, the John the Apostle introduced Christ's public ministry as one of the first miracles that happened in the Bible when Jesus attended the marriage at Cana of Galilee. Therefore, God put a stamp of approval on a marriage relationship. Also, the New Testament event of Paul introduces the church as the bride of Christ. The union you are about to enter into is the closest and most tenderest in which human beings can come in contact with. Marriage is therefore God's institution intended for the happiness and welfare of mankind. As this day marks a new era in each of your lives, it is imperative that you consider the solemn responsibilities you're about to assume. Marriage is a blending and a binding together of two people, spiritually, socially, physically. Brandon, God has given you the responsibility to be a spiritual leader in your home. Therefore, the spiritual atmosphere in your home will depend largely upon you. Uh, but I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ, and the head of the woman is man, and the head of Christ is God. God has also given uh, a commandment to the man to love your wife. Husbands, love your wives even as Christ loved the church and died for it. Ephesians states that so ought to men love their wives as their own body. He who loves his wife loves himself. Therefore, love is essential in making of your marriage what God wants it to be. Love your wife and it will kindle a submission in her and love will cause you to appreciate one another and you'll be kind and thoughtful and, and lending a helping hand to one another. Angie, the wife is a very special place in the marriage union. God has made the woman as a helping, one fitted plan designed for him. She is to show compassion and tenderness and encouragement. She is to be a wise and understanding wife, like Proverbs says, a prudent wife is from the Lord. Submission and faithfulness are also a good quality for the happiness and continuance of a marriage. Ephesians says, wives, submit yourselves to your own husbands as unto the Lord. If you allow these Bible principles, that love and, and getting along together, submitting yourselves to one another, you need, never need that this uh, union be threatened. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for Brandon and for Angie and for the, all these wonderful family and friends that have come out to witness this marriage. We thank you that we acknowledge you that you uh, made marriage instituted in the beginning of time. And so we thank you for their marriage. We speak blessing upon them and their family. And we thank you that it's your will that they be married in holy matrimony. In Jesus' name, amen. The vows. Brandon. Will you have this woman to be your wife, to live together after the pattern of God's word, will you, that you love her, comfort her, honor her, keep her in sickness and health, forsake all others, be faithful to her, so long as you both shall live? Angie, will you have this man, Brandon, to be your husband, to live together after the pattern of God's word, that you will love him, honor him, keep him in sickness and health, forsake all others, be faithful to him so long as you shall live. I will. Brandon and Angie, friends and relatives have gathered here today to witness the marriage and the vows you're about to make. We are asking that you pledge your faith and love to each other in all sincerity and allow the Holy Spirit to seal the vows you make. Join your right hands together. I, Brandon, take you, Angie, to be my wedded wife, to live together according to God's word. I love you, I cherish you, I honor you in sickness and in health. I pledge myself to be true and loyal to you so long as we both shall live. I, 
Angie. Hi, Angie. Thank you, Brandon. <laughs> to be my wedded husband, to live together according to God's word, that I love you, that I'll cherish you in sickness and in health. I pledge myself to be true and loyal to you so long as we both shall live. The ring. Brendan and Angie. Brendan. 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 <laughs> and Angie, you've verbally given your word to one another and before all these witnesses, and you've chosen to publicly seal the vows with the rings. A ring is a symbol of completeness, an emblem of eternity. The gold is least tarnishable. And the ring is an unbroken circle. May your love be as untarnished and unbroken as these rings. May it be a fitting emblem of your love and faith to each other. Brandon, do place this ring on Angie's finger. As a pledge of your faithfulness and the vows you've made that you love her, cherish her, honor and and sustain her and keep her in sickness and health, forsake all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live. Angie, do you place this ring on Brendan's finger as a pledge of your faithfulness and the vows you made that you love him and cherish him and honor him and keep him in sickness and health, forsake all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live. Brendan and Angie, by the sealing of the vows and the rings you have now, as the scripture says, become one flesh. Together you will set up one of the greatest institutes this side of heaven called a happy home. We would remind you that a happy home is not based on things, but a love relationship between a woman and a man. And above all the things, a right relationship between you and God. Brendan, it was... Uh, Abraham, the father of faith, who said, I am glad we'll go yonder. It is your responsibility to take your wife to church at least once in a while. <laughs> and uh, to be a spiritual leader in your house. One of the greatest statements in history was a man who conquered many lands. He was a great statesman, Joshua, who said, As for me and my house, we serve the Lord. The home is a favorite of our society and church and nation. Guidance in the home is found in the pages of the Bible. We exhort you, therefore, to abide by its principles and allow the author of the book, the Holy Spirit, to comfort and guide you. As much that in you, Brendan, and you, Angie, have publicly declared your faith to each other and before all these witnesses in this congregation and exchanged the vows and have sealed it with the rings, I, therefore, by the authority conferred upon me as a minister of the gospel in the accordance of the word of God and the law from the province of Ontario, do pronounce you husband and wife, you may kiss the bride. <laughs>
Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce to you Brandon and Angie Britt.